Hello, my name is Chatelier, and welcome back for another episode of Supreme Lo Ruler Ultimate Roman Restoration. And in previous episode, we captured that place a couple times. We did capture this one. We're now trying to intercept that. It's probably not going to work. But we'll try to take out at least the coal mines here, because we don't actually produce all that much coal, so getting the extra production would be useful. And whatever we can get away from the French is always nice. I mean, I do believe they are still one of the biggest producers. Um, they are, what, seventh largest? Yeah, about seventh largest. They do produce a lot more than what they demand. They are trading a lot. At the same time, if we can trade a bit less of that, that would save us a tiny bit of money. Of course, our production cost might not be quite beneficial. We won't be able to intercept that. Oh, they're going all the way there. Interesting. Well, we're going to move in there and take out the garrisons and the infantry. I mean, the infantry is about to be destroyed. For once, our artillery is doing an uh, excellent job in taking out the enemy before the fight has even begun. There we go, then we'll just go in there, entrench. They might be sending in some troops from here soon, but actually, they can't repair anything here. Hmm. Basically. Okay, there's a lot in there. What we can do now is we can move in anti aircraft guns and such over there. We can move this artillery over here. We can move in maybe the anti aircraft gun over there to give us a bit more protection. Let's move our submarines over here. So whenever they leave that port, they're going to have a nice surprise in the form of torpedo. I mean, while I'm recording it, or this episode, it is uh, Christmas time anyway, so that's a nice little present for them. Alright, um... Do you have the end of the aircraft gun? We're going to move it that way. We've got a lot of infantry around here. I think, instead of focusing a lot over there, we'll just stay defensive over here now. We'll try to clear out more of this. We're going to send the infantry this way. And what we can do once we have enough troops around here, I mean, we... Right, we do have another engineer here. Let's just make sure that you're going for construction there. Although that has been constructed already. So how much do we have a demand in... Uh, it's 30,000. So it's still a fair bit, but... We have, oh right, because we didn't lose this area, so we don't need to repair all that. We do need to repair the hydropower plants there, and the coal power plants there. We'll probably repair actually all of this here. But you know what, just uh, battle zone auto repair. It's going to cost a lot, so I'm not going to deny that. But once it's repaired, we don't need to worry about it any time soon. And it should increase the production quite nicely. Well, that plane has to repair for a while. Didn't do too much damage. I mean, it did a little bit, I suppose. Okay. Oh, nice, nice, nice. We force it back before it even got anywhere near. And thanks to the anti-aircraft guns, the enemy planes don't do much damage. Oh, we sank an enemy ship. I'm not sure what ship. But I suppose it doesn't matter. It's now in the bottom of the ocean anyway. Let's actually have a look. The healthcare should be rather high now, and the cost is not. I mean, it has gone down a little bit. It used to be 9 million per day at some point, so it's not quite that high anymore. But our economy is not doing... Oh, there's another ship. Right, so these are going all the way back 
there, that's fine. But locating that did work quite nicely. Right, so can oh crap. Remember because we don't have much production there and oh we did minus seventy five thousand over here right now. Um that's a bit of extra. But at the same time, once everything over here has been repaired, that should increase our productions a decent bit. Including oil. Which, uh, we produce 34,000 right now. And our demand would be... 175. Okay, that is a bit. Of course, that, a lot of that is productions. Which are not actually being used all that much. Because of the lack of industrial goods, but how are the Germans doing? Oh, they pr pushed pretty far here in the south. They might be going for Bordeaux. I don't have any troops around here. This is a bit weird. I believe these have been resupplied. Make sure that none of these have the. Yeah, they won't be controlled by the AI now. I'm just gonna go back there. Some couple more ships. Draw engineer. Unfortunately, we didn't actually fire upon it, but on the other hand, we might have a bit of a shortage of military goods. I'm not denying that. Constructions are being delayed because of lack of uh, industrial goods, but at the same time, this demand should be going down relatively quickly. Every time a building has been repaired, it's going to lower it a decent bit. For example, those timber mills are about to be ready. We'll buy more, sure, we'll buy more military goods. We do kind of need them. Right, do we have more troops here? We do have a little bit. So what we could do... We could set them up there. Locate the bridge there and then... Use the infantry over here. For example, take out the coal mines down there. Then hold that. We could try to go around here, but I think that might be a bit too dangerous. So what I think I'll do after that is uh, then... Start moving on this area here from north and east. Oh crap. We didn't quite kill it. Almost. Where's it going? Oh crap. Oh well, no, that's Spanish. Never mind then. Right, so we got the brigade out there. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. A Lithuanian mel. Oh, right. So that was annexed by the Germans because of uh, historical reasons. I mean, it is March 1939, which means that Germany is gonna be fighting Poland in the not too distant future. And they might be having a war declared to them by the United Kingdom, which may prove to be a problem, but at the same time, French, how much do they have production still? 645. If we have a look at ours, it's probably about the same. 964. So we actually have a capacity of building more, at least land units, but at the same time, they probably have a more, lot more production of military goods, so they can actually be producing them. Reliably, unlike we. Okay, do we have extra anti aircraft guns? I mean, I suppose we could send this anti aircraft gun somewhere around there. Because they are flying a lot through here. And we've got plenty of guns around here. I think I'm gonna send this uh, supply truck to be repaired. We do kind of have a blockade of Marseille going on right now. 
It's not perfect, but it is adequate for now. And how is the demand for military, uh, not like military, industrial goods? It's currently 73.7 thousand per day. That's a fair bit. Oh, we captured a spy from Netherlands. We're doing a recon, okay. Right, so we're just gonna defend here in the north, and once our troops over here are ready. So they're not ready quite yet, but at the same time. I don't think we'll get much better situation than this. There's not much troops here. We're gonna take this. We're gonna defend the bridge with the help of this artillery. Then this artillery can move over here. We can take out the airfield there or something like that. We can also attack on that one and that one. Oh, those garrisons didn't last too long, did they? We're gonna entrench in there. Remove these uh, artillery pieces. I'm gonna move them this way. Oh, Germany is giving us 400 million. Yeah, sure. It is still uh, quite a bit shortish of military goods that we have right now. We can increase the price uh, a little bit if the price should fall. We're gonna keep it somewhere around there. But we're not going to buy any, I don't think. Okay, let's uh, pull these back. We're going to send in some of these intercepts. Ah, huh, there you go. Okay, so we can actually move back in. It's going for repairs over there. Which means that there's one less enemy around here. Let's start moving these infantry units down south a little bit. Probably combine these forces over there. Now then, how is okay? Economy is not doing great. We can agree on that. But at the same time, okay, the demand is now seventy three thousand. We did uh, repair those, which means a little bit extra production. At the same time, our unemployment has actually grown a little bit. Not much, mind you, but a little bit. That's a lot of artillery. It should be forcing them back quite efficiently. Yep. That mounted infantry is gonna try its luck again. Right, what I think I'm gonna do could make these into a single battle group. I'm just gonna detach everything and it's gonna be... Hold on, didn't I have a name for that? No, apparently I don't. We're gonna start moving on that one. We're gonna make this into a battle group as well. And then move Spike's artillery a little bit closer. Move these artillery. A little bit closer. We'll probably move them here. We've got this artillery that we can move up a tiny bit, and these artillery pieces that won't be able to reach anything really. That's a lot of garrisons there. If we have enough artillery, and if we get enough uh, reinforcement, we should be okay. But this tank is not going to last for long, so we're going to send it back already. We're going to send in another tank instead. And then we can move in these to take out that one. Put on pressure from two sides. Good half track needs to go for repairs. At the same time, the infantry is now arriving, so the garrison should be going to. Ooh! Uh, hmm. We're gonna support that, it's basically Franco has won the Civil War and there's nothing else that in there.
I'll like um, to that. So yeah, we do support that. We'll try to get better relations with them eventually. Oh, well, actually, no, we don't. No, we don't because for the goal that we have, we will have to fight Spain as well and Turkey and take out all the colonies around here in Africa. Of course, we do need to take out Yugoslavia. And then from France, we do need to try to take out the southern portion here. Oh crap. Our truck needs to fall back now. Two of the infantry just over here need to fall back. Ah, uh, we are getting more infantry soon, so we might be able to capture this at least. A lot of garrisons in there. Okay, but we are going around that way, that's good. Do we want to move there? Because there's. No, we don't. We just move, want to move in directly. Okay, one of the Marines needs to fall back. But we destroy another garrison, so that's good. Now more infantry has arrived, another garrison has been destroyed, excellent, but Spike's artillery is taking a bit of a beating here. So we're gonna pull actually entire Spike's group and send them for repairs. We lost one of the marines, that's not good, and okay, take all these, send them for repairs. lost another unit and these units are not doing all that well so we're gonna have to send them for repairs as well. Okay we lost another infantry there we're gonna have to send these up north. Over here we can at least we'll probably take out some of the enemies although two of these I'm gonna fall back I'll pull back already. some units now but not too much I can do about that. Well, I mean it's the lack of military goods that is hurting us quite badly here. But a lot more troops there. We don't have any... Hold on, I thought I sent these to be repaired but they're not... There we go. Got the engineer there. What we could do is we could move you for constructing that and also defending that a little bit. And do we... We got... Another engineer here, you are currently working on repairing that area. We don't have any, I don't know, we do have some troops here now. But we're gonna send these sea transports. I think we're gonna send them over there, that's probably the best that we're gonna. I mean, Venice might be a bit shorter to distance, but. Right, so these two need to go for repairs. So this was a failure, this attack. We destroyed some of their troops, but not enough. But we still hold the areas around here, so it's not too bad. We're gonna move in the tank over there to recapture the mountains. And then pull it back. Hold on, they... oh right, they're just going there, okay. Still got the blockade over here, so if they send in any ships to repair, we should know it. And our military goods demand is 21,000, that's a fair bit. At least the industrial goods demand is going down. There's still plenty of demand left, but it's okay. So, do you know? We're getting the military goods production fixed, industrial goods production. There's the seaport, the town, a lot of power. Over here, okay, these are probably quite expensive. The. Oh! Hello? Well, there goes one plane. Yeah, so they're sending planes, but they didn't do too much damage. Mostly an inconvenience rather than any danger. Right, 
So these have been repaired. Is there anything important? Well, those sort of could use a little bit of help. So we're going to send it to the gas fields over there. If we can improve the production, that'd be nice. We should be able to, it's just going to take a while. Yeah, we lost quite a bit of inventory over here, so we probably won't be able to do too much attacking anytime soon. What we can do is we can entrench over there. Oh, well, that was a timing. Moving the anti aircraft gun in there as well. This should be pretty good over there. We'll entrench these as well. They will repair very slowly outside of barracks, but they will repair at least. Okay, so we sunk a uh, pretty ship. I didn't have a chance to see what it was. But in the end, it doesn't really matter. Move one of those anti aircraft guns over there. Just to make sure that they can't fly through here without getting shot. Now, actually, I wonder how much troops they have here. Probably not too much, but we don't have spare troops right now, because the repairing of troops is rather slow. Oh crap. That's going to push through, isn't it? All the way here. We got the engineer that will probably stop them, and the artillery. At least we forced that one back. And the tank doesn't take too much damage from the artillery, so that's good. I like the mounted infantry. Oh, right, so all of these need to be sent back over there eventually. Now let's pull it back. And we've got a half track over here. We'll, we'll send it over here so we can recapture this. And then it has probably a range of three hexes, so we can set up this entrench over there. So it should be outside of the reach of the artillery there. And it should give some room for the engineer to actually repair this area. Have we built any more troops around here? Not by the looks of it. Planes are going around a little bit, and then we've got the two artillery here, but we know that they got the Legionnaire infantry there, which is rather terrifying, to say the least. Right, well, let's move these back over there. Probably move Atheon down this way. All Athians, uh, recon cavalry. Now, speaking of which, we did get a better recon unit, didn't we? Or, well, to be built at some point. Let's select this one, I suppose. In the special forces over here, then we should probably build some recon as well, and that should be rather useful. Oh, yeah, we should all oh, sank something over here again. At least in the still. And there was another one. They might actually be just uh, those uh, merger marines bringing in the troops. Oh, hold on. We lost the submarine over there. Oh, crap. Well, that was pretty far away. So I'm not particularly surprised that it uh, got sunk over there. Alright, we got the supply truck. Probably send it this way. Did we? Okay, those are under repairs, but still need quite a bit. And the industrial goods demand hasn't really gone down lately. Not enough, anyway. 
Oh, the military is still... That has been going down a fair bit, actually. Probably because we lost quite a few units. But the industrial goods production has gone up. It used to be 1357 or something like that, so it's gone up uh, over a hundred now that we've been doing a lot of repairs. Let's see, but we are actually out of time for this episode. Huh? I'll probably do a little bit uh, time skip like a month or so before the next episode, just so that we have uh, some sort of um, action going on. But anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, check out the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, bye bye.